to do whatever, talk to them, chop it up. Like, but whatever. you have to eat with people of your own race. You can't trade. You can't trade with with blacks. You can't trade with others. You can't trade with. Wow. So you can only do trade with your race, and then the whites get along with the the essay. So you have woods, you have skinheads, you have paisas, you got Mexicans, you got Crips bloods, and others. <laughs> it always sucks to be. It sucks to be black in them times. And next thing you know, you're in a wreck. You know? So I go in. Um, this was actually my second experience, not my first experience in there, but my second experience, I go in, they put me into a psych ward, a psych watch, getting extradited from Atlanta to here. So I walk over, I sit down with this fool, and he starts showing me how to play chess. Uh, but I didn't know. Like, Oh, I, no, you had no idea. So I'm moving this other module. At the time, the, the institution had a lot of skinheads in there, and the skinheads were politic hard. So this guy got a big ass swastika tattooed on his face right here. Oh Jesus Christ! Drag him out of my cell because he's trying to get me to hold this this shame yeah. in my cell. I couldn't get on my cell for like two weeks. Oh, for two weeks. Yeah, just so alone in your cell. They kind of keep other races out of car wrecks. Well, if we get in a car. fight with them, the key holder is the guy that can communicate with the other key holders to the races and try and they keep going delegated. So what happened was I beat this fool's ass, and now I'm I got the keys like how to communicate and, and, and keep things cool like there's <laughs> like the conversation it made me in some ways you're sitting there listening to these guys so cities fighting over teams fighting over this is the dumbest shit so i'm sitting in my cell i'm getting ready to go to court and there's two huge ass guys and they're in there talking to each other about trying to get me but they don't know that it's me so i make it through that whole process and i catch the chain and when I catch the chain, they take you from county to, to state. And I catch the chain with this same asshole that I got into it with. Level four being the highest level, most, most dangerous, dangerous criminals. People. Yeah. The next level is Superdome in San Diego. Because, because my charges, my charges, but the kid, kidnapping, the kidnapping thing. all that, because those charges were so intense. So now I'm in there, it's like three months. And, uh, <laughs> there's this, this guy next door. We start talking to an event to each other a little bit, you know? And uh, we played in chess and shit, like through the little vent, mm -hmm. so moving pieces around shit, you know. It was like connected to this fan, right, with the thing on it, and then whoosh, let's swing it out into your cell. And you take this kite, and then you can read the information on it or whatever, you know. And I'm like, I'm like, that's why this dude wanted that cord. So he started a fire, and he had a bag of weed. I say, bro, I can't have this. Like, <laughs> I try to shoot that shit back to him. And he's like, he's like, nah, you got to keep it. You get coffee with it. You get whatever you need, you know. So. It goes around to the other key holders. The fucking guy next to me was a key holder for the for the Bloods. I go, it's Bainey. And he goes, it's the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> they have to tell your celly so your celly can stay out of the fucking way. So, door pops. My celly takes off running out of the cell, you know? And sure as shit, two guys come flying in. One guy flying in, trying to stab me. And then we're fucking scrapping, rapping all over the place. Fall out of the cell. We're up the stairs. Fucking pushed the guy down the stairs. The guy was choking. Never got up. Just eyes full of blood, right? I go in there, there for a couple of days. 